Hi, everybody. Welcome to Breaking It Down on Conway Corp. Channel 5. I'm Jeff Matthews. Thanks to Conway Regional Health System for sponsoring Wampuscat football, including Breaking It Down, our look at the highlights each week of the Wampuscat football games. This week, we look at the highlights of the homecoming game. As Conway played host to Fort Smith Northside, the Grizzlies come in red hot. They're perfect in conference play. The Wampuscats come in as hot as they've been all year. Their first win of the year a week ago on the road against Cabot. We will watch for number 11 for Fort Smith Northside. He is Trey Norwood. He is committed to play football collegiately at Louisville. He is good, and we'll keep an eye on him as I know the Wampus Cats will as well. All right, here are the first half highlights now of Homecoming, Homecoming 2016. Johnson to George. The offensive line continuing to do a good job, making room because he makes his way right through the middle. Giovanni Johnson. Pass is complete. That's Will McKenna. McKenna to the 20-yard line. A couple of sophomores hooking up for a Conway Regional Health System first down. And under center. The pitch to Kip Van Hoos. Kip looking for a block to the 18-yard line. It'll be second down. I mentioned Northside have been on the road so much. They Giovanni Johnson looks to throw and does for Marquise Pleasant. Touchdown, Wampus Cats. Seven. He'll take the snap and again run. He goes to the left. He's fast. Crosses midfield and just steps out of bounds in front of Will Kennedy and Logan Camp. Plenty for a first down. Tonight it's been all him running. Now he'll throw. Pass is complete. Good stop made at the 30-yard line. Nick Fletcher on Norwood will throw. It was in the hands of Logan Camp, who had his second interception of the year. Man in motion. Norwood will keep, and he will find the end zone. 13-yard touchdown run for Trey Norwood. Remains quarterback, Hunter Pendleton. Gets low and is able to get across the 40-yard line. And he will hand off to Derek Wise. Garrett Fusilier got him, but he will fake the handoff and keep right up the middle. Norwood inside the five. It's first and goal. Fort Smith north side. Will hand off. The official comes in to the pile, looks. No indication yet. Now they're going to say touchdown. Racking up almost uh, 119 yards. And again with the pooch kick. Zach Hurd takes it loose all. Picked up by Northside. Zach Hurd was trying to do something spectacular with that pooch kick. Drops the ball. Giovanni Johnson will look to throw. Marquise Pleasant knocked out at the 40 yard line. Giovanni Johnson will roll and throw on the first play of the second quarter and it is intercepted. That is Byron McGrew. Quarter. Max Frazier. Blitz. Pressured. Got him. Zach. George. George. Got about 10 yards there. Michael George with a nice run. Johnson. Will throw. Caught by Joe Thomas. Joe Thomas is still loose across the 20. Thomas out of bounds inside the 10-yard line. Joe Thomas with the big catch from the 16. Pass complete. It'll be third and direct snap, high snap to McCall Dale, but he will walk into the end zone. A one-yard touchdown run for McCall. Wise brought down at the 15. It will be very close depending on the spot, and it does look like it's going to be short. They've got to be on the other side of the 15-yard line for the first down, and the ball's going to be placed. Wise to his left, handoff. Nope, he keeps it, and it's going to be very close. Depends on the spot, and if they put the ball at 15, it's going to be short. It is a huge fourth down stop for the Wampus Cats, and the Cats get the football back. Handoff on second down to Michael George. Michael George crosses the 30, cuts it upfield, and is brought down at the 45. Big run for Michael George. Johnson. 
Wants to unload deep and does. And Will Kennedy, Marquise Pleasant was there as well. It falls in. It's halftime and the Cats trail 21 to 14. Conway will have to mount a come from behind victory if they'll get a win in homecoming, the homecoming game that's happening now against Fort Smith Northside. We will see if that takes place. Cats trail by seven. Second half highlights are next on Conway Corp Channel 5. When someone you love is in the hospital, you want to feel helpful. So you do what you can to make them feel better. And you want to ensure they have the best care possible. That's why you trust Conway Regional. We've invested $100 million in new facilities, services, and technologies to become the most complete and comprehensive healthcare system in our area. It's why we're consistently named the region's most preferred hospital. Conway Regional, our quality, your trust. You're watching Breaking It Down on Conway Corp Channel 5. I'm Jeff Matthews. Thank you to Conway Regional Health System for sponsoring Wampus Cat Football and Breaking It Down. Catch trail 21 to 14 as we go to the second half of the homecoming game against Northside. He's had a half time to sit and rest. We'll see how our defense handles the talented Mr. Norwood. Logan. Out to the 49. That'll be... Pendleton again. Get down there. Second and eight. Norwood. Garrett Fusilier tracks him down from behind. Then it will be third down. But everybody. And he chose Louisville this summer. And he is into the secondary quickly. Games and haven't stopped 16 years later. It'll be a loss by Garrett Fusilier. He makes the stop. Norwood will keep. Nick Fletcher can't tackle him. Logan Camp does. Pendleton to his right, and he will hand off to Hunter Pendleton. Logan Camp will bring him down at the 22-yard line. It'll be Wise. 12-yard touchdown run. Harper runs to the right, short yardage. Johnson under center, rolls out and throws. Screen pass intended for McCall Dale, just a little too tall on each one. Norwood will keep, not there. Zach Norwood will keep. He will be pushed back. We're going to give him the 23 and a half yard line. So got to get something like that. Not going to happen here. Fair catch. Air catch called for. Punt is bobbled. Once again, the Wampuscat defensive line are just beating their guys. They Norwood will throw. Thomas catches loose ball. They will say incomplete. Carlton Hood continues his good play this year. Knocks that. Norwood pressured. Gets out of it. Still. He dives, loose ball, picked up by Carlton Hood. He's dropped at the 39-yard line. Johnson will roll right, and that's where they normally look for 15. He's covered. Johnson will run to the 45-yard line, two. High snap, McCall Dale will cross the midfield stripe, and that's enough for a first down, move the chains. It's a Conway Regional Health System first down. 18. Trying to pick up a big play, and they're going to look for a big play over the middle. Now, flag comes in. Catch is not made, but we'll see if it's on the ground with McCall Dale. Dale will fall over the 40 and over the 38, and that's the yard line that he needed to get the first down, and the Cats will move the chains. So high snap. Instead, it'll be to the left because of the high snap, and McCall Dale able to get the first down. You called it a moment ago. Johnson looking for Joe Thomas. Third down and 10. Nice play call. It was open. Pass interference. Crossing route. Looking for Joe Thomas. They'll give the ball to McCall Dale. Trying to get to the end zone. Bad snap, but again, McCall Dale does a nice job to hold on to it. 
Makes his way into the end zone. The Wampus Cats score. Into the game at quarterback. He will run to the right. Out to the 30. See if he can knock one loose. They'll drop Norwood in the backfield. Norwood will look to throw. Catch is made in front of Eric Webster. Eric makes the stop. Jamarlin Jones makes the catch, and it will be to the 36-yard line for the first down. And they will not get there. The interior of the Wampus Cat defense makes a huge stop. And Giovanni Johnson will hand off. Room to run for Shamar Harper. He crosses the 30-yard line. That'll stop the clock because it's enough for a first down. A Conway Regional Health System first down. They will set the ball and then get ready to start. Back on the ground. Shamar Harper battling his way forward to the 43-yard line. They'll put him down at the 42. That's enough for a first down. A Conway Regional Health System first down. Motion. Reverse. Marquise Pleasant. Tracked down by Trey Norwood. Tackled at the third. Second down in 19. Giovanni Johnson pressured. Now he'll run. Johnson with room. Giovanni Johnson crosses midfield, crosses the 45-yard line where he has one timeout remaining for Northside. Giovanni Johnson looks to throw, wants Joe Thomas. There's an interception. There is a flag on the field. Back, Giovanni Johnson rolls right and throws back. Complete to Jack Pillow. Jack Pillow inside the five. Out of bounds. They're rolling. The and your final score, 28 to 21. The Wampus Cats get that close to getting the win. As you saw in that final play with Jack Pellow, he was tackled just before he got into the end zone or got out of bounds. So the clock is exactly like it should have been. The officials got that call right. Giovanni Johnson fumbling the snap and falling on it. The clock runs out and the Wampus Cats lose 28 to 21. One in six overall, one in three in conference play now as Fort Smith Northside stays perfect and they are tied with North Little Rock for the top spot. Looking at some of the stats from the game, Giovanni Johnson, seven of 20, 122 yards, one touchdown and one interception. Michael George led the way on the ground, seven carries for 53 yards. McCall Dale scored a couple of touchdowns. Joe Thomas, Jack Pillow, and Marquise Pleasant each with two touchdowns or two catches each and Marquise Pleasant with one touchdown. Will Kennedy with 10 tackles led the way defensively. Carlton Hood record, uh, recovered a fumble, and uh, also a great game again by Logan Camp. He was in, in so many plays and had nine tackles. Disappointing loss, really a heartbreaking loss in a lot of ways. The Cats battled and came back and got within a yard of getting a chance to tie the game. They'll have to recover from this one, and they still have a chance, still have a very favorable schedule to get into the playoffs and possibly even host a game. That road begins at Central. We'll be at Quigley Stadium on Friday night. We'll have the game for you live. Hope that you'll join us on Channel 5 and 585 and on YouTube for the broadcast on Friday night. Thank you for watching Breaking It Down, brought to you by Conway Regional Health System. When someone you love is in the hospital, you want to feel helpful. So you do what you can to make them feel better. And you want to ensure they have the best care possible. That's why you trust Conway Regional. We've invested $100 million in new facilities, services, and technologies to become the most complete and comprehensive healthcare system in our area. It's why we're consistently named the region's most preferred hospital. Conway Regional, our quality, your trust.